mobile. You often don't see him coming. And Kevin, you add in his great rebounding and ability to hit from mid-range, and he's always an X-factor for them. Back to you. Thank you, Doris. Here's Beverly. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Dishes it to Harden. Pass to Beverly. Here's the teardrop. And it's Howard finishing it off. We knew what was going to happen with that one when he got his hands on it. Yeah, you know, if the ball comes to him off the offensive boards, Clark, it's going to go back down hard. It's amazing how many points he salvages for his team. Now here's Durant. He's got seven. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Durant's got his third basket of the night right there. Rockets trail by five. Harden kicks to Beverly. He's looking for Howard and finds him. Fades. Shot's good. Howard's got six points. Thunder have gone six of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Westbrook kicks to Durant. Rockets with the rebound. Harden dishes to Smith. Houston moving the ball around. He kicks it to Beverly. Harden left side. Six on the shot clock. Smith sets the pick for Harden. Ariza has the open look. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Most any NBA player can make you pay when you leave them that wide open. That's why you have to stay alert on defense. And he makes good on the layups. Westbrook's got his second bucket of the night. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. Raiders against Harden. Kicks to Ariza. Back to Harden. Fires from deep. The Thunder pull it in. Cantor's got three rebounds now in this one. Really good performance so far on the boards for this club. Boy, I like the way they've done a great job carving out space under the basket when the shots have gone up. He's got to be happy to see the ball go through the hoop finally. He had five straight misses before finally making his first shot. Harden left side. Smith with a screen on waiters. Harden the pass to Smith. Harden against Waiters. Harden kicks to Beverly. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Patrick Beverly is absolutely a hound dog defensively. He's got so much pit bull in him and how he goes about defending people at that guard spot. He's not a big playmaker or scorer. the Rockets win the tip. Now the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Ran outside at the three with Ibaka playing the power forward. Russell Westbrook out there with Deion Waiters. And it's Cantor in at the five. Roaming the paint. Smith kicks to Harden. Six to shoot. Harden left side. And that one's good. Harden's got the first points on the scoreboard for Houston. James Harden Clark voted by a majority of NBA GMs last season as the number one shooting guard in the entire league. Really hard to argue that, Kevin. I mean, he's an elite scorer, second in the league in free throw attempts per game last season, and he's also a really, really good passer, able to make his teammates better because he draws so much attention, and he's a crafty and willing passer. And here's Beverly. 
following the three from Kevin Durant. Leaves it issues to Harden. There's the feed to Beverly. Back to Harden. Houston needs to get a shot off. Smith, and he dunks it down. How about the excitement right now that he's playing the game with? I love it. He can't that dunk off with some serious hang time on the rim. <laughs> yeah, he just could not contain himself. Now here's Waiters. Feeds it to Durant. Baseline try. Good D by Ariza. Difficult shot from mid-range, and the defense was all over him. Oh, I like the close out there, Steve. Well done. Beverly, the pass to Harden. Harden right side. And Beverly gets to a reason. Right through the D for the layup. Ariza has got his first two points. Pockets on defense. Outside Westbrook. Raiders against Harden. Raiders on the wing. Durant against Ariza. Again, Durant missing. No breathing room at all to take that shot. The baseline J. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Well, they're shooting 75% here early on, even with that miss. Waiters with the ball. They set the pick. Durant dishes to Cantor. Durant against Ariza. The baseline J. Again, Durant missing. This quarter has not been his best. The defense may be starting to affect him a little bit. Wasted no time on that one. They're off and running. Good start here. They've knocked down four of their first five. Now let's go to Doris Burke, who had a chance to catch up with head coach Scott Brooks. A lot of his strategy is focused on Dwight Howard, and rightly so. He said, we know Dwight can do it all, and it is going to take a five-man effort to slow him down. He can finish, block shots, rebound. The guy is almost seven feet of pure muscle, and there is just no way to handle him one-on-one. -on -one. If there is a way, the NBA hasn't discovered it yet. And as always, Doris, thank you. And here's Ariza following the three from Kevin Durant. You look at the Thunder, they're really the epitome of patience that build through the draft model. Constructing a contender with consistency, just a solid approach every day. That's why they are year in and year out so tough to win. All free throws good from Trevor Ariza. There's not a lot you can say that hasn't been said before about his skill at the charity strike. Outside Westbrook, he dishes it to Waiters. It's Durant on the wing. From about 16, Durant with another miss. And for the Thunder and their success, of course, not just predicated on top picks, but Clark, you've always talked about this, the right kind of top picks. The fit is so important. They've had great success with their picks. There's no denying that, and it's not easy to make that happen, but they've got a tremendous front office that does their homework, knows what they want in terms of talent and character and fit. And then you've got to give a little nod to luck and fortune here. I mean, not all of Very it. I mean, true. Some of it, you know, it's not always all science. There's a little art involved in this thing, too. But uh, they've got quality people making good decisions, and it's paying off on the court. Here is Durant. James Harden picking up that last basket. Pulls from the top of the key. Again, Durant missing. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. And there's a reason that's good on the assist by Harden. Six points for Trevor Ariza. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. Yeah, the defense has been futile here. Five of the last six field goals in the lane. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. 
So we'll see Russell Westbrook go to the line here. It's going to be on James Harden. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Rockets. And they're doing a fantastic job of finding the open man and getting easy looks. Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those tough points in the paint. Now here's Waiters. Josh Smith unable to get his shot to go. Westbrook passes to Durant. Soft touch off the glass. Durant's got eight points. He's such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. And again, it's Trevor Ariza. And here's Westbrook. Kicks it to Waiters. Pass to Canner. Outside Durant. Shot from the top of the key. It's rebounded by Houston. Now Beverly. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Ariza against Westbrook. Ariza goes in. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Well, you know, not everybody was happy with Dwight Howard signing in Houston. The Rockets' starting center, Amir Ashi, was not shy about expressing his displeasure. And, you know, I think that hung over the team for a while. And it wasn't until late in the season that that was kind of put to rest. Good on the second free throw. And early on last season, the Rockets tried starting Dwight Howard and Ashik together. But it didn't last well, it worked defensively, Kevin, but on offense, there just wasn't enough floor spacing. So uh, from that point on, Kevin McHale would only use that combination uh, against certain matchups. But for the most part, he went with a smaller format. Thunder trailing by six. Raiders with the ball, and it's Harden picking him up. Ibaka sets the pick for Durant. Out to the right wing. And Ibaka kicks to Durant. Durant drawing the double team. That doesn't go either for Durant. And a nice job there defensively. Just getting a hand up enough to bother the shot. Yeah, that was very nice. Impressive. It made it a much more difficult shot. Now here's Beverly. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Harden outside. Howard trying to free himself up. Harden, no good. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. Waiters dishes to Westbrook. Left side Durant. And Durant gets double teamed. Westbrook kicks to Waiters. Here's Durant. Puts the fade away right on the money. Durant's got 10. This quarter has brought out the best in him, fellas. Even though they're still trailing, he's been impossible to contain. Ibaka comes with the double team. Harden the pass to Ariza. Smith kicks to Howard. Passes it to Ariza. And Cantor pulls it down. Thunder trailing by four. Waiters dishes to Durant. Pass to Cantor. Back to Durant. Oklahoma City moving it around. Now the pass to Waiters. It's Durant with the drive. That's good. 12 points for him. He's really stepped it up. Here we go. 